Hello, my name is Tim Bell. I'd like to welcome you to a video demonstration of my bachelor thesis that I completed with William Irving. We're both students of RMIT in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. I'm studying mechanical engineering and William is studying the uh, advanced robotics and manufacturing engineering degree. Uh, this is our final year bachelor thesis project that we conducted together. Uh, and I'd just well, like to welcome you to the video. Uh, you will notice that there are some cuts in the video. Uh, please note, nothing untoward was done during those cuts. Uh, the instrument was not removed from the device and everything was done as has been stated. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. Bye. Exhibiting that the guitar is in tune. So just detune the guitar. That sounds pretty horrible. Okay. So, so this is the setup. We start at the guitar, which is plugged in via a guitar jack which runs to the preamp connected here. The preamp then outputs from here to the laptop, goes in here through the line in port. The control box here connects through USB to the laptop. The control box has six buttons. Each button pulses one string it has a reset button which resets the whole system and a start button which will start the uh, control box into receiving mode and it also has a power on power off kill switch which lights up as you can see uh, the control box is connected via these cables down to the device which now I'll pass over to Ronnie now, as you can see, the device has motors on either side connected to these drive adapters which will grab onto the machine heads of the guitar. The hinges allow for movement and also movement this way which uh, allows for a more tolerable fit and doesn't risk bending or breaking things in the guitar to make removal of the uh, device from the guitar and putting the device on more uh, simpler that's good English, simpler um, we've installed these pins or removable pins which allow this wall to come off and this foam supports the headstock of the guitar from banging and crashing down onto these hard parts and that's all for the guitar. into the device to begin with, uh, I have already pre-pulsed the switches on the box to turn the motors slightly so that they will uh, hopefully already fit pretty well, which they don't. So this motor, I'm just going to just touch the yeah, so hopefully that will fit there like I bought one. Now next we're going to put this one on. So, it's much the same. As you can see, this was part of the reason why we uh, made the system with these removable pins. Because going on this way, when a head is not vertical, is basically impossible. So this way, they can come on a bit nicer. Now, hopefully, they will all just fit. Because, as I said, I did pre-pulse them before. But you did get to see a little example of how the motors worked just now and actually I will give you another quick example once this is all put together okay so now that the device is sort of snug and held and ready to go we can see that if I'm very careful oops if I pluck the uh, yeah, did you, B string, so that's basically a, a just very 
small demonstration of how the entire system really works. And also this just sort of shores up the whole connection of it as well. So that's Okay, so now to start the tuning system, tuning, we first press this button and hold. And now the blinking light has changed. Thank you, William, for putting in that nifty little uh, system, which shows if it's a single blink, it's ready to receive tuning input. If it's a double blink, then it's in the initialization stage where these buttons will turn the motors. However, at this point, the motors, uh, the buttons do not turn the motors. So, to start the tuning, all I need to do, and I'll just check these connections. They're all in pretty tightly, pretty well. All I need to do is press start on my MATLAB program. Uh, all of the software has been written in MATLAB except for the software for the Arduino control board which was written in C by William Irving. Uh, and all the tuning logic was written by myself in MATLAB. Uh, except William Irving did do the um, tweaks on the sample rates to make the whole system a little bit faster. So let's start it. Right. So we play and now we start. Let's do some strums. As you can see the motors are turning. And at the moment the system is designed to it's a much simpler version of the system and it will do only 20 cycles which it has just finished of the loop uh, I am currently working on a much better uh, system in MATLAB which will be a little bit more intelligent but currently it's a very primitive loop that will just loop the tuning process uh, a number of times that we tell it to Okay, so um, we ran the tuning program once and it was slightly still a bit out of tune so we ran it again and that's tuned it up quite a bit nicer. So now I'm just going to show you how we remove the device. Uh, okay, so the first step is to just remove these removable pins. I must put in an honourable mention to my dad who came up with the idea. Without it, this uh, whole device never would have come off the guitar which is my guitar, so it was a little scary when it didn't come off the first time. <laughs> uh, so now, this, as you can see, it just comes straight off, just translates off, and that was a really hard bump. And then this comes straight out. So it's very easy to remove. It's pretty easy to put on, uh, but much easier to remove. And now, hopefully... As you can tell, it's still slightly out of tune by, you know, it's, it's not at the, uh, the ideal, but uh, it went from very out of tune, which I'll put a little clip in before for a direct comparison with a C chord, and, or an E or a G, whatever I used before, and um, yeah, now it's in, I would say, a playable state. For someone who's, you know, happy enough with that. Um, yeah, this is the proof of concept. The system works. With further tweaking of the software and, uh, and the hardware, we hope to introduce PWM a control to the servo motors, which would give a much better control over how much uh, the motors turn per machine head. And yeah, other than that, 